Hello, the following worksheet is available on www.eclassroom.co.za but it's also available right here on to Enable's website. Um, you can go to www.eclassroom.co.za and you can uh, download other worksheets that might help you in your other subjects. Okay, we're looking at this worksheet now, Math Literacy Grade 10 Worksheet 6, Measurement. And the reason why we are using Grade 6 grade 10 worksheets here in grade 11 as some of the work only occurs in grade 11 especially this Fahrenheit and degrees Celsius um, but a wonderful worksheet to use nevertheless okay let's just zoom in slightly um, the first question convert the following units into grams first is 23 milligrams 105 kilograms 0.85 kilograms and 0.5 milligrams. Now milli, I don't know if you remember or if you, you've probably just looked at that, that um, video, M milli means a thousand and so does kilogram, but milli means one thousandth, so there's a thousand milligrams in a gram and a thousand grams in a kilogram. So to go from milligram to gram, I will divide by a thousand to grow from uh, kilograms to gram I will multiply by a thousand so let's look at the memo 23 milligrams divided by a thousand is 0.23 grams 105 kilograms times by a thousand is 105,000 grams 0.85 kilograms times a thousand is 870 grams and 0.5 milligrams divided by a thousand is 0.005 grams Right, let's go back to question the, que the questions. Convert the following units to liters. Th uh, twen uh, 20 milliliters, 4 cubic centimeters, ooh, 80,000 milliliters, and 20 cubic meters. Now, 1 cubic centimeter is equal to 1 milliliter. So this is equal, actually 4, four uh, milliliters. Okay, let's go to the answers. Uh, and this milli still means thousand. So twenty milliliters divided by thousand is naught comma naught two liters. Four cubic centimeters is four milliliters. If I divide it by a thousand, I get naught comma naught naught four liters. Eighty thousand milliliters divided by a thousand gives me eight liters, and then. 20 cubic millimeters is equal to 20,000 cubic centimeters and 20,000 one notice we got missing there 20,000 cubic centimeters divided this is equal to 20,000 no I'm lying this is actually 20 million <laughs> sorry 20 million cubic centimeters is equal to 20 million milliliters so if I divide by a thousand, I get twenty thousand liters. Okay, twenty million cubic centimeters is equal to twenty million milliliters. Okay, <laughs> wonderful question. Question three: Use the given formula to convert Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. Okay, now we have a formula, and this will be given to you in a test. So what if you want degrees Celsius? What you do is you pop the Fahrenheit into there. So you take the amount minus 32 divided by 1,8. Okay, so it's 400 minus 32 gives you 368 divided by 1,8. So let's look at the answer. Um, 400 minus 32 divided by 1,8 is 204,4 degrees Celsius. 356 minus 32 is 324 degrees Fahrenheit divided by 1,8 is 180 degrees Celsius. 500 minus 32 is 468 divided by 1,8 is 260 degrees Celsius. And 302 degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 is 270 divided by 1,8 is 150 degrees Celsius.
Right now to go from Celsius to Fahrenheit you have a different formula and you don't need to de derive this formula in mathematical literacy. So you pop in the degree Celsius, you times by 1,8 and you plus 32. It's actually exactly the other way around. So if I take this 1,8 over it becomes times 1,8 and then opposite of minus is plus. Okay, but you don't need to derive. Right, um, let's just go to the answers. So you pop in the degree Celsius and out comes the Fahrenheit. So it's 2,2, uh, 220 times 1,8 plus 32 is 428 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you do it from left to right on your calculator, you will get the correct answer. But with this one, if you do on a simple calculator, you first have to get the answer of the minus because brackets are more important than the divide, bot mass. B O D D is for divide, B for brackets before. So um, we first do the brackets, but here you can just do from left to right because multiplication is more important than addition anyhow. Okay, two so one hundred and seventy six and a third degree Celsius. So you can first convert if you have a simple calculator two thirds. So go two divided by three is not comma six 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 recurring. So into your calculator you type one hundred and seventy six point six 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 until the screen cannot take any more sixes, and then you say times one comma eight plus thirty two, and that gives you three hundred and fifty degrees Fahrenheit. 120 times 1,8 plus 32 is 248. And again, you have to convert um, 8 over 9 into decimals first, and that is 0, 0,8888888. So you type into your calculator 148, 0,8888888 times 1,8 plus 32. Now this, you can f go uh, 8 divided by 9 on your calculator, and then you press plus 148 and that gives you 148.88888 so you first convert the decimal unless you have a scientific calculator that can take the fractions and then you just pop it into the fraction place question 5 do the following conversions assume that they are 4 weeks in a month 5 hours into minutes alright so how many minutes in an hour? 60 so we'll go 5 times 60. We'll quickly uh, just now look at the answer. Okay, B, 6 days into weeks. How many weeks in a uh, days in a week? 7. Okay, 29 months into a year. So you go, um, how many months in a year? 12. 41 weeks into a month. So how many weeks in a month? 4. 7. 100 seconds into minutes, again 60 seconds in a minute, the same as hours and minutes and hours, and 10,800 minutes into hours, again 60 minutes in an hour. Okay, so let's look at that. 5 times 60, so 60 minutes in an hour, 5 hours times 60 is 300 minutes. There are 7 days in a week, so 6 days is 0.8 six weeks or you can as a fraction it is uh, it's actually 0 0.857 weeks but rounded to two decimals is eight um, is 0 0.87 weeks as a fraction six over seven weeks 29 divided by 12 is two years and five twelves of a week uh, of a year sorry and five twelves is so it's two comma four two years can also be accepted it's not comma four one six 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 so it's two comma four two years 41 divided by four is ten and a quarter of a month or ten comma two five months will also be fine. Seven hundred seconds divided by sixty is eleven and two thirds of a minute, or eleven comma six seven minutes. And ten thousand eight hundred minutes divided by sixty is hundred and eighty hours. Okay, and then lastly, I think question six. Oh no no sorry, I missed that question seven. Question six is a, a cake. Then Tato wants to bake for his girlfriend on Valentine's Day. And this is the cake. 
it's all the ingredients i hope it works it looks like a delicious cake um, and that's the meth method okay how much oil didn't start to put in the cake if one cup is equal to 250 milliliters a half a cup of oil so you go 250 divided by 2 is 125 milliliters of oil. If Ntatu used this re wants to use the recipe to bake a cake for 24 people, how many, I wonder how many girlfriends he has. Um, how much flour would he need to use? Okay, now this cake is for 10. So if he wants to bake it for 24 people, he needs to times everything by 2,4 because 10 times 2,4 is 24. So um, he therefore for two cups of flour if you times that by 2,4 you get 4,8 cups of flowers cups of flour and that is 1,2 liters or a thousand two hundred liters of flour. So what you do is you have two cups of flour times 2,4 okay so 2 times 2,4 is 4,8 and 4,8 times 250 is 1,200 let's look at the memo uh, B 2 club cups is 24 over 10 or 2,4 so it's 4 and 5 uh, 4 over 5 so th and that is 4,8 cups of flour um, even Tatu triples the recipe. How much cocoa powder would he add? Triple times by three. So three quarters of a cup. Three quarters times three is uh, two and a quarter or 2,25. Or in milliliters, it would be 562,5 milliliters. So this times three is two and a quarter or nine quarters or if you convert this to milliliters it gives you 562,5 milliliters um, Tato decides to use a 23 centimeter round cake pan to bake his cake when the cake has baked two centimeters high what is the volume of one of the cakes now this is is work that we're also going to do a bit later so uh, i will refer back to this question so it's pi r squared times height pi we use as 3,14 times 11 and a half centimeters remember it's half radius is half of 23 squared times 2 and that's 264 and a half pi times pi which is 800 okay so um, it's 11 and a half squared um, times 3,14 times 2 and that is 830,53 cubic centimeters it's fine to use um, you you probably you have to use pi 3,14 so your answer will differ slightly so it's 830,53 cubic centimeters and then lastly E what is the total volume of cake produced it's um, these two cakes so it's 830,53 and two cakes it's 1,100 Oh, 6 cubic centimeters or 1661,90s if you use the pi button on your calculator. Um, uh, remember here it says blah blah blah. Um, line 2 23 centimeters round cake pan. So there are two. Uh, you can use a round cake pan, and, but you're used to. Okay, wonderful. And then lastly, question 7. The grade 10 learners at Helpful High School decide that they want to upgrade the local library. Use the information given about the library and the various possible upgrades to answer the following questions. They decide to paint the inside walls of the ceiling, determine the area that need to be painted. Um, 7,2 times 6. Hmm... Right. 
page that's about strawberries Okay, I'm sorry. Question seven before question eight. Maria goes to the shop to buy fruit, um, and uh, she spent ten rand twenty four on guavas. How many grams of guavas did she buy? Right. So the guavas is thirty two rand per kilogram. Okay, and if she spends ten rand twenty four, you take ten rand twenty four divided by thirty two per kilogram. So you divide by the rate. And you get 0 0.32 kilograms, and that's 320 grams if you convert. So there's a conversion. Um, question B. Th this was right at the beginning of grade 10, so this is a bit of revision. Question B. How much would you pay for one kilogram of strawberries? So strawberries is per 400 grams. So you take the price, you divide by 400. You times by a thousand. Remember, there is a thousand, so that's the price of one gram, and there's a thousand grams in a kilogram. Okay, so you take the price of strawberries, divide by 400 times a thousand, so it gives you 74,98 rand per kilogram of strawberries. See, Maria spent a total of 87 rand 50 on fruit. She bought 0 0,7 kilograms of bananas, 0 0,5 kilograms of apples. 0,9 kilograms of pears, 0,4 kilograms of strawberries, and she spent 10 rand 24 on guavas, and she spent 4 rand 99 on grapes. What did she spend on blueberries? Okay, so this is a price for bananas. You times the take the price of the bananas times 0,7, and it gives you 4 rand 98, 89. 11.99 per kilogram times 0,5, so it's 6 rands for the apples. 14.99 per kilogram, 0 0.9 kilograms, so that's 13.48 of pears. So then you take 87.50 and you minus the 4.89 um, and the 6 rand, that's 4.89, 6 rand, the 13.49, the strawberries is 29.99, the 20 rand, uh, 10 rand 24 and the 4 rand 99 of the grapes okay and what's left over 17 rand 1790 and that's for the blueberries convert the price for blueberries into price per kilogram okay so with blueberries so you take the 199.99 divided by the grams 125 times a thousand and that gives you 159.92 per kilogram for the blueberries and then lastly if what did Maria what did Maria's shopping way oh, that's interesting um, e was how many grams of blueberries did Maria buy? She bought uh, this was amount per kilogram times something gave her seventeen rand ninety. So if you take the price and you divide by one hundred and fifty nine rand ninety two, you get zero comma one one two kilograms of blueberries, which is one hundred and two grams times by a thousand. Okay, so the guavas weighed thirty two. 0.32 kilo, kilograms, three hundred and twenty grams. The apples zero comma uh, 250, 0,7 grams of bananas, 0,5 kilograms of apples, 0,9 of pears, 0,4 of strawberries, 0,32 of guavas, 0,25 of grapes, and 0,112 kilograms of blueberries. So in total, it weighs 3,182 kilograms in total. Okay, oh, that's a wonderful fruity feast. Right. The learner of helpful eye. Now we're painting the ceilings. They decide to paint the inside wall and the ceiling of the library to determine the area of paint. So what do they have to paint? They have to paint here, here, at the back, at the side, and at the front. Okay, so it's a ceiling. Is this? So that's the area of the ceiling. That's six times seven comma two. The front wall is six times two comma one. 
the side wall is 7 comma 2 times 2 comma 1 and the back wall is 6 times 2 comma 1 um, or you can say the area of the ceiling plus 2 times the area of the side wall 2 times the area of the front of oh, the area of the front wall and the back wall and then all together it's 92,64 square meters. No doors, no windows. If you take 3,5 liters of paint and it covers one square meter, how many liters of paint must they buy? Okay, so you take the area and you times it by 3,1, okay, times the area, and that gives you 345,24 liters. If the paint come in 20 liter tins, how many tins of paint should they buy? Okay, so you take the 345,2 and you divide by 20 and it gives you 17,262 tins. So, uh, so therefore 17 will not be enough. You won't have enough coverage. Okay, so uh, especially if it's quite a bright color or a couple of shades lighter. So therefore they must buy 18 tins of paint. paint tins of paint because you can't buy a quarter of a tin. D. Each 20 litre tin of paint costs 148 rand 50. How much money will they spend on paint? Okay, so 18 times 148,5 and that gives you 2,672 rand. Question E. The grade 10 learners wants to put up new bookshelves on the walls of the library. They decide to put shelves on two sides of the wall and the back. So it's 2,1 by 7,2 and the back is 6 by 2,1. The learners decide to put six, sh six shelves on each wall. Shoot, tongue tied, sorry. How many meters of shelves do they put up in total? Alright, so six. 2 times the length of the side wall plus the length of the back wall. So it's two, 6 times 2 times 7, comma, f f uh, 2 plus 6. The, okay, so it's 2 times the length of the side wall. So it's 14, comma, 4 plus 6. So that's 20, comma, 4. And now 6 shelves on each. So that is 122, comma, 4 meters of shelving must be bought. If a shelf costs 24.5, 24 and 50 per meter, what's the cost of the shelf? So you take this total length of the shelves, times it by the price per meter, and you get 2,998 rand and 80 cents. All right, tiling the floor. Um, the learners want to tile a library for they choose square tiles that are 40 centimeter wide. How many tiles are needed to complete the, do the job? Okay, so the area of the floor is 6 times uh, 6 meters times 7 comma 2 meters and that's 43 comma 2 meters. Um, the area of a tile is 0, 0,14 square meters, so you take 43,2 divided by 0, 0,16 and you get 270 tiles. But let's, let's quickly check something. If you take 6 me meters, that is 600 centimeters. Okay, so that's 15 tiles altogether. So 600 centimeters divided by 40 is 15 tiles. 7 comma 2 times 100 is 7, 720 centimeters divided by 40 is 18 tiles. So you can say 16 tiles to the one side times 18 to the other side and that's 288 tiles. Hmm, why doesn't it go? So 6 times 7.2 is 43 comma 2 divided by um, 0.4 times 0.4 that's 0.16 600 divided by 40 is 15 720 divided by 40 is 15 by 18 sorry and that is also 270 so to the one side yeah fits in 15 tiles in a row 
in this 600 centimeters and over there fits in 18 tiles into the 7,2 and 15 times 18 is also 217 so that's a different way to calculate it okay then they s always say you buy 10% more tiles for breakage um, the learners are told 10% in case of breakage and for corners how many tiles do they need now so you go 720 plus 10% of 270 so that's 10% of 270 is 27 tiles so that's 297 tiles I, the tiles come in boxes of 8 how many boxes must they buy so you go 270 to 97 divided by 8 is that's around about 37,125 tiles so that's 38 boxes let's quickly see 8 times 37 is 296 you know what if you by 296 tiles it's one less tile and you've already um, made up for the 10 percent that's so one less than 10 percent I'm sure if you buy 37 boxes but now you have to to explain it show this calculation and then you say 37 times 8 is equal to 296 tiles if you buy 296 tiles there will be more there will be more than enough to make up for that 10 10 percent so in practice in mathematically you'll buy 38 boxes but in reality you'll actually buy 37 boxes of tiles uh, J each box costs 61 rand 60 what's the cost of one tile so 61 comma 60 divided by 8 is 7 rand 70 and lastly the learners at helpful high have a budget of 8140 for the library improvement project they will will they be able to afford the tiles after they have bought the paint on the shelves okay so now the budget is the cost of the paint plus the cost of the shells is 5,671 rand 80. If you take that away from 840, they will have 2,461 rand 20 cents. And even if they buy 38 boxes of tiles, which is not necessary, you can, they can go for 37, they will still be able to afford the tiles and they'll have a little bit of money left over about a say 42 uh, let's do the calculation 2 4 6 8 and 20 cents minus 2 4 8 and 80 cents they will have 127 rand and 40 cents left over and with that money they can buy a book thank you very much good luck with the with, with the next uh, week tomorrow's lesson thank you very much